Baby Rich, Top Swag, Top Drag, Hood B, whatever you want to call it. It's the real me. It's the real me TV, man. I'm here with Baby Rich. What's, what's up? What's up, Mo? What's up with you? How you? All right, shit, man. You know I've been fucking with you, bro. Nah, for real. All yeah. right, so let the people know, though, bro. Give us a quick backstory, man. Let us know what you do. Let us know where you from. Uh, you know, I'm Baby Rich. Uh, I started this music shit. Uh, I started out Temple Hill. That's where I'm originally from. Then I moved out this Heights, and I've been living here ever since. Yeah. Type shit. This way, you know. So that's pretty I much. I grew up around this way, right here. Yeah. yeah. Straight up. This straight like up. The, the proving grounds, right here. Yeah. And hey, how old are you, bro? I'm 17. You still in school, or oh, you already? Yeah, I'm still in school. Damn. I'm see. About to graduate for real. Yeah, I'm about to graduate like me. So what's like the, the people in your school reaction on you? Uh, I mean, everybody, they knew me before I was baby rich type stuff. Everybody knew me like before all the money and stuff like that. So it was just all been like, good. with me. They, they just act normal. Everybody just keep it real with me. They yeah. tell me if some music good. They tell me my music bad. Like they, you with me, they keep it real with me. So niggas in your school most so fucking with you though? Yeah, they most all fuck with my music. You with me? They, they, dump, they be bumping my albums all that. Yeah. Damn. They call me rich in school all that. They don't even call me my real name no more. They call me baby rich. Shit like teachers that. and all that? Yeah, my teachers know me as well. Yeah. Nah, that's alright, bro. Yeah. Uh, like, school's like a good way to get followers and shit, too. Right. Just tell the whole class, follow yeah, and shit. Like, shit. subscribe and all that type shit. Okay. Download yeah. this shit. Kill. Yeah, like, ninth grade, I started, like, a YouTube channel and stuff like that. Like, before this rap shit, I started, I was a YouTuber. And everybody was fucking with the videos, all that. Like, yeah. yeah. School, a good way to get yourself out there. Nah, that's yeah. alright. So, Rich, mentioning you so young and shit, right. how was it being young and pushing rap? Is it hard? I mean, it's, it's yeah, at, at times it's difficult because it's like, I'm, I, I'm a certain age, so I can't do a lot of things. Like, I can't perform at certain clubs or stuff like that because I'm, I'm underage and stuff like that. But yeah. It, and it's a gift and a curse, though. Because, you know, the younger you are, that's the more people going to listen to you. Because, like, the youth, they got a, a strong, oh, like, the youth really out run the world type stuff. No doubt, like, no it, doubt. It, yeah, you don't see a lot of 30 year old robbers out here, like, dragging type shit, so. You really run the world. Yeah. So it's easier for me to get my music out there because I know all the young niggas gonna listen to it. Nah, that's shock right there. Yeah. But shit, in the industry though, it's like more old niggas than young niggas though. Yeah, because I mean, in, in, certain, in certain aspects of it, yeah, because like they, they got more knowledge type stuff. So they know, you know, what's wrong, what's right. Yeah. So they, you know, they get a better opportunity than some young niggas, but you know. Would you want to rap until you 35, 40? Nah, I, ain't gonna, I, I plan to I plan to retire this shit by like 25. I ain't gonna lie to you. I don't, don't want to rap until I'm old. For real? That's simple, because you, you can't be old and still in the streets. You yeah. can't be rapping about the same thing your whole life. Because like once you at a certain age, you ain't even living that no more. You talking about past experiences. Yeah. So it's like, I don't even want to be rapping for a long time. So what's your life out the rap? What's, what do you think? If I'm right rich, now? If I'm rich by then, go out. The code is somewhere in the mountains and just like cool it. But like if I'm uh, if I ain't got no grid, I'm gonna try to go into real estate or like uh, cyber security. Nah, no, 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 you got good hair on your shoulders, bro. Yeah. Oh, Riz, man, how you feel about the old DMV rap versus the new DMV rap? Ah, man, what you mean by old? Like, 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 like the uh, new savage type old to to young threat now, or you mean like some old, old like swipey type old? Yeah, I'm also talking about the swipey shy okay, light show. Like, I feel like the old rap, I feel like everybody had their own sound. Yeah. Like, everybody was different in some type of way. I feel like the new rapper, everybody sound the same. Everybody talk about the new same shit. No savage been like two, three years in this job. I man said no savage type old. Damn. Yeah, I love man. to show the young niggas, man. Man, because I'm, I'm trying to tell you, like, because savage, like, he been rapping for a little bit. Yeah, he been for a minute. He been for a minute. But, like, yeah, back in Swipey, everybody had their own sound. Like, Shaq Glizzy ain't sound nothing like Swipey. Swipey ain't sound nothing like uh, Light Show. None of them sound the same. So yeah. it's like now, everybody sound the same. Era, it's, it's a whole lot of re the same things in different ways, if that makes sense. So what, what, what do you prefer, though? I prefer ah, the old. Mm, man, that's a hard question. All right, so the new music is more catchy. Like, you could, you could, do, you could make TikToks and stuff like that with the new music. But yeah. the old music is really. Like, they, they speaking more real, real stuff. Like, the new music, I, a lot of this shit fabricated. So, do you feel like the comments be right when they be like, man, all this shit sound the same, they sound the same shit? Hell yeah. The comments right? Hell yeah. <laughs> hey, Rich, the first rival to agree with the comments, yeah. man. But it, it's to a certain extent, And he's a young nigga, though. Some of them be jazzing it. Some of them be jazzing it. But, like, to a certain extent, hell yeah. Hell yeah. yeah. A lot of this shit sound the same. I don't know. You don't. You don't. So, you ever had any rap role models? Uh, fuck yeah. Like, looking up to them type shit? Yeah. Yeah, uh. Just like I a rap see. shit. 
NBA Young Boy. That's probably number one. Uh huh. Uh, I say, fuck. That's probably that's probably who I really listen to the most. But as far as like money wise, like having as much money as them, man, Lil Baby, he rich as hell. Uh, Jay Z, yeah, he rich. You ain't never had no DMV rival model. Uh yeah, TD Ramo. T D Ramo by far. That's my like now we locked in, like that's big bird, but back then when he was running like we was running shit back twenty nineteen, bro. I used to look up to that nigga, like mad time. Shit. I used to just like wanna be like him type shit. Right. So I say T D Ramo. That's some real shit right there, bro. Yeah. Alright, speaking of young boy, how do you feel when people say you sound just like young boy? Like you a young boy duplicate. Bro, I rather my opinion, do I sound like young boy? Fuck it. But my in, in my eyes it's like I would rather sound like a mainstream artist than everybody else that's in the DMV. Like, cause everybody else in the DMV sound the same. Yeah. And then you get the young boys. Like, can't nobody do that. It's not a lot of people that can replicate that sound. So How like, did you replicate it though? I, I say from listening to his music. Like, I like it. Really, I became like, oh no. Like, I I listen to his music and then I replicate it out my mouth. Like, I learned the whole. Louisiana lingo, like how they say certain <laughs> words and all that. Like I just, it just came to me. Or something. Yeah, no, I feel like that's some shit. Like when you're young, you do that shit. Yeah, like you, you pay attention to shit. I can't even talk like that though. Like regularly, how I'm talking to you now, I can't do it. It's, uh, I only can do it with music. Damn, nah, I, I feel like that's some to... shit you learn when you're young. You doing it, yeah. bro? Oh, that's alright, bro. So in other words, right? You think? Speaking on the first time we talking about earlier, do you, do you think it's a time limit on rap? A time? Nah, a time limit. Time limit, like how long you should be able to rap? Yeah. I mean, no, nah, not really. If you still, if you still experiencing new things, and you still going through stuff as an artist, then hell yeah, you can rap for as long as you want to. But at some point, if you just talking about your past experiences, your whole, your whole rap career, I think uh, it's time to get that shit up. Man, yeah. You got to. Ew. Ew, bro. So for the girls at home, man, what's your idea of a perfect female? Cause, cause they been fucking man. with you, man. I be seeing them on the ground, yeah. calling hunt, I caught eyes under your shit and shit. <laughs> nah, for real. Uh, perfect female, I get to y'all straight. Light skin with braces, you can't go wrong. I thought you can't go wrong with a light skin with braces. What if her teeth already fixed though? And she got, and she don't got braces? No. Nah. Her shit good. She had oh, braces no. back in the day. Light skin and tats. If you don't got braces, you gotta have tattoos. If you don't got no tattoos, you ain't, you ain't, you ain't hood beaver sweat. You ain't my style. So could you uh? <laughs> it's a hood beaver swag. Man, I fuck with that. You ain't hood beaver swag. I don't like it. So could you fuck with a girl with a face tat? A face tat? Yeah. It depends on what it is. Like if it's a nigga name, fuck no. Yeah. Fuck you. you done. Little cool little flower or butterfly or something on the face. It, de- or something. it depends on where it's at. If your shit like up here on your forehead somewhere, fuck no. Yeah. If it's like right here on the side, yeah. or like you and me, like un- under your eye, like right here type shit, then yeah, it'd be cool. You could take her home to meet moms and shit? Ah. Ah. <laughs> I mean, I don't, I don't know. It depends on how she treat me as a, as a, as a, uh, as a boyfriend or whatever we is at that time. Yeah, no doubt. how she treat me. No doubt, no doubt. Well, DMV top five robbers. Like, okay. Uh, I ain't gonna be too, like, in this specific order. It's just my top five. Myself, obviously. T.D. Ramo. Young Threat. Baby J-Mo. And... K- I give it to KP. I give it to Skywalker. Yeah. I said you crank when you go in the whip. Yeah, yeah, John Light. Yeah, when I get in the car, yeah, I park. It's myself first. I play all my unreleased music, and yeah. then I, I fuck with TD Ramo. Yeah, yeah. That's, all right. That's a solid list right there. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. Hey, so Rich, on the real me TV, right? We right. ask everybody this question. Right. What's the real you? You can tell me one word. You can tell me a full sentence. But what's some everybody you know can vouch for? They all be like, yeah, that's Rich for real. Uh. I don't know. This might fuck some of my emotion up, but whatever. Anything, if somebody tell you this about me, they know it's true. Risk is hood people, nigga. I get that's it. That's why. That's my job. That's what I do. So everybody know you, like man. Everybody know you did tell you. Nah, he get the better. Did tell you, risk, bitch, grab you. I'm mad. You had. Yeah, I don't know, bro. Hey, Chris, man, we appreciate you, man. Man, thank you. Man, we are out.